What's our first word? Drop. Drop. Second word? Cover. Last two words? Hold on. Okay. All Missourians are encouraged to learn a lesson from these fourth graders at Jefferson City's Thorpe Gordon Elementary School and practice what to do if an earthquake hits at school, at home, or at work. Put your hand behind your head. Don't face that window if you can. I want people to know what to do when the ground is shaking. You want it to become an automatic sort of response. You don't have a lot of time to react. So drop, cover, and hold on is a very simple, basic message for people to do. So everybody ready to try this? Are we ready at this, this table? Yes! Are you ready in the back here? Yes! Are you ready over here? Yes! Okay. I think the ground is shaking. Drop, cover, hold on. The students understand that most earthquake-related injuries are caused by falling objects like bookcases, electronics, or other heavy items. That's why they protect their heads and hold on so that shaking or debris won't knock over their desks, leaving them vulnerable to injury. A person's first instinct might be to try to run outside during an earthquake, but that's the wrong thing to do. There are just too many things that are on the sides of buildings, uh, parapets, cornices, ornamental type designs that are on the sides of buildings, particularly brick buildings, that are going to become very unstable potentially and fall down and hurt and even kill people. Earthquakes come without warning and are over quickly, so there probably would not be time to get out of a building. The shaking may be too severe for a person to move, but if possible, teachers should immediately open classroom doors so they won't become jammed or blocked, preventing students from getting out once the shaking stops. And Elijah's going to drop. The students have learned more than just how to recite drop, cover, hold on. They understand why it makes sense. Because if, um, if something was to fall and you didn't have any protection, you could get hurt. I learned it's safe to be inside under something that when an earthquake happens. Uh oh, I think the ground's shaking. I think we might be having an earthquake. Children and adults alike can learn an important lesson from these fourth graders and take time to practice themselves. You don't want to have the ground shaking underneath you and then be stopping there on the street or in the classroom or whatever and thinking to yourself, gee, I know there's something I should be doing now that the ground's shaking. We want it to be as automatic as possible. To learn more about earthquake preparedness, including how to register to participate in earthquake drills, go to sema.dps.mo.gov and click on the Earthquakes link.